Tell us what volcano corn on the cob tastes like. To be honest, I won't miss it. Saying bye. Gotta say, scooter, not the right thing for the Azores. Oh, we're so cold. But we heard from our hostel friend that taking the bus to Fernas is the way to go. We packed our swimsuits and our towels and we're going to attempt to go to the hot springs today. Now, for those of you that have watched us while we were in Hawaii, you know taking a bus around the island is not so easy. We're just waiting for our bus. <laughs> just number two, it's not our bus yet. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Well, it's easy, but it ain't fast. Oh, this one's not it. That bus ride was all sorts of windy. I am, I get car sick pretty easily, so. That bus driver was definitely on a mission. Ooh, it was very pretty though. It's incredibly beautiful drive. We're here at the Terra Nostra Park or gardens, and it's a beautiful big botanical garden in Farnas. And not only are they gardens, there are thermal pools here, which is really awesome. It's eight euros per person to get in and the eight euros gets you access to all the walking trails of the garden, as well as all the different baths. Today's the perfect day because it's a little gloomy and overcast, somewhat rainy, but kind of like our Budapest day. It's a perfect day for getting in a jacuzzi. We are in the orangey brown hot springs. Apparently, the reason why it's so dark and orange is because it's super iron rich. It can mess with your swimsuit, so they recommend wearing a dark swimsuit or one that you're ready to get rid of because it can turn things brown and orangey. I wonder if mine already is. <laughs> Josh definitely brought the swim trunks that he's ready to get rid of. Yeah. It even smells like iron. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about with the, uh, like when you're at a house with old pipes and you turn on the water for the first time in a while, you get that just blast of iron. That's what it smells like. So this is actually a volcanic crater and the last time this thing erupted was 1638. So I think we're good for now. It doesn't feel like it's gonna erupt today. I don't know. But the heat from the volcano is what heats all these baths. There's actually three of them. There's this one, the big kind of poopy brown water one that we're in right now. Gross. <laughs> and, uh, and then the other two are over there and we're gonna go visit those in a little bit. But this is definitely the biggest and most famous out of all three, despite its color. To be clear, it's not this color because of poop and it does not smell like that. And it's not just the hot springs here either in Fernas. Fernas is actually its own little town village. It's got restaurants. It's got all sorts of cool stuff that you can check out. I gotta say, I admire their bravery deciding to build a village directly in a volcanic crater, which is where Fernas is located. Kind of bothers me that you can't see through the water, so you can't really tell what's underneath. But mm, I'm gonna assume there's nothing dangerous down there. <laughs> In the Azores we found it's either raining or about to rain. The 
this one's the better one. You only get 15 minutes in this pool and I'm gonna spend all of it just blasting my painful neck. an extremely extremely cold shower which honestly felt pretty nice after being in the hot tub for so long but mm. everybody one after another who went under the shower mm. just mm. <gasps> but it's important to do because you're like covered in orange stuff yep yep <laughs> orange it's almost like you have a fake orange tan too mm -hmm. it's kind of nice maybe yeah, it looks a lot like spray tan once you get out. After the super cold shower, you're then ushered into the world's tiniest changing room that the two of us had to share together. It's about the size of this bench here. <laughs> oh man, what an experience. Josh's favorite activity, wandering around a flower garden. Even as the rain started to come down, and a lot harder than we had hoped for, we felt like we could wander in this 200-year-old garden for days. We were already pretty drenched from our hot springs visit anyway. But there was a large part of me that was kind of distracted, wondering, should we try to scurry back to the bus to avoid the rain and make it back to the safety of the hostel? But at that moment, we were also surrounded by beautiful nature, volcanic hot springs, lush, humongous trees, these beautiful hydrangeas that have become a symbol of the Azores. There was just so much good. We decided to stop fighting the rain and just let it be. After having spent most of our trip thus far fighting to find a car, see the island on our terms, and make something happen for us, just simply walking through the rain made us realize that we are most happy, most at peace, most calm, on our travels when we just let things happen without always trying to force it. Oh my God, I'm so proud of you. That looks so scary. <laughs> there was just one, one step that was just a little bit too long for my little pineapple legs, but I did it. I was more scared for your camera. <laughs> Probably just one of the life lessons that the Camino has taught us, coming through when we needed it the most. We found a tarot garden. Just a field of tarot. They're so giant. Wow. Some coffee, some french fries, some beers. That's all you really need to recuperate. And oh yeah, the sun, the sun came back out. For the next 10 minutes. <laughs> it's so amazing how much happier I am when it's sunny and warm and beautiful. And you actually can see sights. It's so pretty. The sky is so blue right now. It's so different. We're on the way now to Calderas Volcanica, where there are some bubbling hot springs, but not the kind you can swim in, but the kind that you can apparently cook food in. We won't, but maybe we'll eat some food with it. Whoa. They 
sell corn on the cob here for one euro and they cook it from the water from the volcano. Pretty excited. I don't know if it'll taste any different, but this is cool. Okay. Tell us what volcano corn on the cob tastes like. Volcano at the cabin to make this stuff. How much do you think they cost? I'd like to know which caldera I should thank for this. I think it's that one. Which one? That one. Paresta. That one. Seca. Pequeña. Mm. Volcano. <laughs> I read a blog of somebody from the Azores that said that it used to be families used to come here and cook their corn, their meals, all in these calderas, kind of family style. Now it's reserved for local restaurants, people who cook corn on the cob so that they can serve them to tourists coming to visit. There are actually a couple of restaurants just around the corner where you can buy stew and meats that are cooked in these furnaces, in these geysers, what are they? in these volcanoes, I don't know, in these springs, in these pools. <laughs> in these calderas. Pretty cool, huh? Bulky and smelly. I think this is the bus we're supposed to take here at 420. So as we're wrapping up the day, I gotta say, we cannot discount the bus because it is a really great way to get around Azores. It brought us all the way to Fernas, it brought us straight to the park, and it picks us up right at the Calderas. While it is a longer bus ride, it takes you straight there and it was only four euros. It's inspired me even to take the bus tomorrow to Sete Ciudades. Well, after that happy monologue, we missed our bus. My fault. I went back to the bathroom because I was looking for some money that I had potentially lost. And the bus didn't stop. And so luckily, hopefully, there's one more bus. Another 45 minutes to an hour and we'll see if it comes and if it stops for us. Bummer. We made it. We made it. Last bus, but made it back home. Yeah, I gotta say the buses are, uh, they won't wait around for you. If you're not sure if you're gonna get on them or if you miss them by just five seconds, it will just leave you behind. We have successfully returned our mooter, our mooter, our scooter. And two, you're getting really close to my face. Can you not go so close? <laughs> the bus Did you see drive? the brown ducks yet? Oh, cool. Ooh, that was a hot spot. Maybe I'm on the volcano. No, maybe not. Yeah. So as we're wrapping up, oh, I just got bit by an ant, I think. The calderas de volcanos, volcanicos, de volcanos. <laughs> <laughs> about to try the best pineapple in the world, as they call it. That's pretty good. Yeah. Wow. Is it the best in the world? I don't know, but it's really, really good. Hi, kitty. What do you got to tell us? So many things to say. <laughs>